I'm videotaping something. I have no idea what it is. John Hutchison moved into this new Westminster apartment building about 10 years ago. Oh, it's a news story. Sorry. Tons of equipment to turn his small place into a makeshift laboratory. Welcome to my world. Now you got to watch your head in here. You won't believe it. I keep telling people that. So you got to watch your head when you come in here. And make wow. sure... Yeah. And make sure that uh, you don't bang your head. It's pretty crappy. Okay, yeah, a news story. And uh, so... As you see, I move around by chains. There's some x files equipment here. Off a warship. All kinds of different test equipment. Uh, frequency generators. John uses this equipment to research electromagnetic fields and to conduct experiments into a strange phenomenon called the Hutchison Effect, which is named after him. What really the Hutchison Effect is, from what we gather, it shields objects from being held down by the Earth. It's true anti-gravity, but uh, I cannot do the experiments here because there's too many people in the area, high-density living area. Say that their doors are moving by themselves. Well, I started doing them a little after that. And anyway, extremely dangerous doing it on a third floor apartment. The Hutchison effect causes metals to act in very peculiar ways, and the strange behavior doesn't stay within the confines of the lab. It's also affected many of his neighbors. I had a like an eleven plant made out of brass and had jewels in it, and one just dissolved. John has worked with the governments of four different countries, and scientists are taking his work very seriously. John wants nothing more than to continue his research, but he doesn't have the money to set up his lab anywhere else, although the mayor of New West told us he's looking into that issue. So for now, John is staying put and keeping busy with other projects. David Olick, New Westminster for BCIG Magazine. Okie dokie. Things have changed since then.